You're listening to Good Morning Gwinnett, a division of Noise Media Network, hosted by Audrey Bell Kearney, sharing stories about people and places around beautiful Gwinnett County and beyond. Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. Southern Living at its best. Good morning, good morning, good morning, all my Gwinnettians out there and all of my friends around the world. Happy hump day, baby. You have made it to the middle. It is a beautiful day here in Gwinnett County, but it is going to be a scorcher. Do you hear me? Right now, 74 degrees going to a high of 90, so it's going to be hot, hot, hot. Hope you're having a beautiful day. Just want to say this episode of the Good Morning Gwinnett Show is made possible by Podcast University. So if you think you want to start a podcast because your message or your mission matter, go to podcastuniversity.training. Again, your message and your mission matters. So start your podcast today. Go to podcastuniversity.training. Listen, I'm so glad you guys have joined me today. I've been up early. Yeah, I got up early this morning, y'all. I'm up, I'm up early pretty much every morning, but for some reason, I woke up early this morning because I had a dream that I that one of my um, board members on the board that I sit on for the Greater East Side Chamber of Commerce, I had a dream that he was telling me I need to get on the on the Facebook Live this morning, which is funny. And so I got up early and I was like, you know what? I need to get on the Facebook Live this morning. So I told him, I was like, yeah, I had a dream that you were like, somebody need to come on the Facebook Live. And he said, strangely enough, his internet wasn't working. And so normally when he's not able to host a Facebook Live, he calls me to do it. And so um, but he actually got it to work. So, but anyway, I showed up bright and early this morning, bright and early, well rested. Hope you had, uh, woke up the same way, bright and early and well rested. Cause I did. All right. So listen, today is hump day, baby. You made it to the middle. Cons- listen, consider yourself blessed because somebody did not make it to hump day today. So we want to thank, we want to thank our heavenly stars for this blessing. Cause it is, it is a blessing. Um, today is t- uh, Wednesday, May the 18th. Oh my goodness. In a minute, this month will be over and we'll be right into June. But right now it's May 18th. It's also National Emergency Medical Services for Children's Day. National Ju- Juice Slush Day. You remember the slush? Like you go to like the Walmart, not Walmart. What is that thing? Like a, like some of the, um, gas station, like a quick trip or a racetrack and get you a slush. Get you a slush. It's National Cheese Souffle Day. Now here's the thing. Everybody that know me know I love cheese, but I don't think I've ever eaten cheese souffle. I don't even know what that tastes like. Anyway, I'll be interested to find out what it does a cheese souffle actually taste like. I've never had one. As much cheese as I eat, you would think that I, I would have had cheese souffle, but I have not. It's National HIV Vaccine Awareness Day. So listen, let somebody know that they can get a vaccine for HIV. It's National No Dirty Dishes Day. Ha <laughs> ha. That should be every day. Like we shouldn't have to make that a national day for people to know to, for people to know that there there shouldn't be dirty dishes, right? But anyway, for those of you who don't know, it's National Dirty Dishes Day. I don't know how you're gonna celebrate it. Maybe how about cleaning them up, like washing the dishes? That could be a way to celebrate National Dirty Dishes Day. It's also National Visit Your Relatives Day. So listen, go visit somebody you haven't seen in a while. Go just stop by to say hi. Now listen. Don't stop by that person's house who don't like you stopping by their house unannounced, right? You got, I know you, listen, everybody has them. You have some family members, they welcome you with open arms no matter when you stop by. And then you have those other family members who say stuff like, ah, she just going to come up here unannounced. Don't stop by that person's house. Go by the ones that, you know, they don't mind you just dropping by. The other ones that you got to call them before you come. They got to text you twice. and Yeah, not that one. Don't stop by that one house. Call, if you want to stop by, give them a call for it. Like, hey, what you doing? I just want to stop by. And then you still get something like, so I'm talking from experience, right? Not about my family, though, because I don't have any family. But there have been people who just want to stop by. I'm like, what are they stopping by for? Yeah, such and such calls them. Are they stopping by? What are they stopping by for? That's because that person does not normally stop by, but you got family who would say the same thing. What they stopping by for? So yeah, just call that person first. But for the people who don't mind you stopping by, stop by and say hello. It's National Stop By and Visit a Relative Day. All right, let's get on with these horoscopes brought to you by Noted Astrologer Mike Thassen for today, Wednesday, May the eighteenth. Happy birthday to all the tar- who is it Taurus right now? Oh, yeah, all the Taurus out there. Happy birthday, Bulls! It's your day. Um, we're going to kick this thing off like we always do, and that is with Aries. Your emotions are soaring, and if you don't get away, look out, world. Uh-oh, watch out, world. 
Um, remember that no one can walk through your door if there's someone standing in the doorway. Ooh, let me say that again. No one, Aries, can walk through your door if there's somebody standing in the doorway. Escapist tendencies will result in a poor reputation and a lack of confidence. All right, here's the thing. You're looking for somebody new to walk through your door, Aries? Well, you got to clear the walkway, baby. You got to move. You got to something, something or someone is in the way in the middle of the doorway just standing there. And you want to open the door and let somebody else in, but they can't come through because somebody is blocking it. So move, clear your doorway, clear the entrance, and someone else will be able to walk through. Until you do that, just know, here's the thing, just know that nobody's going to walk through that door. So you're going to be stuck with that same old do door stop that's in the way. Yeah, that's a door stop. It's in the way of stopping stuff. I'm just saying, Taurus, you're, <laughs> I feel like I'm in rare form this morning. That's what happens when I get good rest. Yeah, I, I'm in rare form. Taurus, your added discipline, I'm laughing to myself. That's how crazy that is, right? Your added discipline will enable you to complete some of those unfinished projects. You could be disillusioned if, you're rel if you let relatives in on your emotional thoughts. Your mind will be on matters that deal with secret affairs. Okay, what you thinking about, Taurus? Here's the thing. Yeah, I know I say this all the time, and I'm saying it to you today, Taurus. If it's a secret, you probably shouldn't be doing it. Because guess what happened to secrets? They come to light. Mm-hmm. And let me tell you about let me tell you about old girl named Karma. Karma is a uh, it's a family show. It's a family show. But Karma is a and yeah, beep beep. Put the put it in there. Y'all know what I'm gonna say. So just be careful. You know, your mind will be on matters that deal with secret affairs. I know you sitting there right now, you thinking about her, you thinking about him, and you thinking, man, I just wonder what it would be like. Right, I just want. Oh, I just it was just great what it was. It's a secret, there's a problem with the word secret. I'm just saying, Gemini, you will have to face issues separately and in person. Romantic opportunities are evident if you get involved in large groups or organizations. Oh, Lord, L listen, secret affairs could cause upset. What okay, what is going on today? Okay, Gemini, here's the problem. Same thing I just told Taurus, the key word there, secret. <sighs> if it's a secret, don't do it, y'all, too. Are y'all hanging out together today? Or is, is a Gemini, are Gemini and Taurus hanging out together in the same secret circles? Secret. I'm just saying it's going to cause you some upset. It's going to cause both of y'all some trouble. Don't do it, Gemini. Do not do it. I just told you about karma. She is a mu She's a... Beep, beep. I'm just saying. Cancer. Watch your tendency to live for the day and to spend too much on entertainment and children. It could set you back. Try to find another time to present work or ideas today. Get out and, ex and experience the spice of life. All right. Get on out and get you. Listen, get you a slice of the spice. At the spice of life. What is that though? What does that mean? The spice of life. I don't know what that means. It means different things for different folks. Here's the thing. Don't, don't do like Taurus and cancer though. Taurus and Gemini cancer. You can go out there and experience the spice of life, but don't be messing around with secrets. I'm just, I'm just trying to stop you. So don't you do it. Taurus and Gemini already got their hands full with their secrets. You just enjoy a regular life with some spice. Spice that don't include other folks stuff. Okay. Okay. Leo, you must refrain from overspending on entertainment. Don't forget to read the fine print. Travel or short trips will probably be your best outlet. Don't forget to read the fine print, Leo. Do not. And if you read the fine print and you do not understand what it is saying, consult a professional. Because it could save you a lot of heartache and trouble and money in the long run. Don't try to go to Google and figure it out. Just call somebody. Spend that money that's going to save you some money. I know sometimes folks just don't want to spend the money. to save them some money. Here's the problem with that. If you don't read that fine print and understand what the heck you read, you can sign the wrong thing. I'm just trying to stop you in advance. Virgo, make arrangements to spend quality time together. Try to avoid uh, serious discussions with loved ones. You must be careful not to ignore the needs of your youngsters in your family. All right, listen, make some quality time to spend some rain. Listen, arrange some quality time to spend some time together. Quality being the key word there. This quality does not mean that you're in the same room and you're on the phone, they're on the phone. 
You're watching TV. They're on the phone. You're reading the book. They're, that's not quality time. Quality time is when you spend some time talking to somebody, gazing into each other's eyes. Yeah, that's quality time. Having a real conversation, that's quality time. Some people don't know what quality time is. They think quality time is just being in a room together. That is not quality time. That is boring time. Quality time is where you're actually together and you're actually talking about something or watching something that matters to the both of you at the same time. That's hard for a lot of people because a lot of people don't have stuff in common. So quality time, ugh, let me tell you, quality, trust me, you know when you're with somebody in, in this quality time, the conversation flows like the river. You want to talk to that person again, that's quality time. If you're in a relationship and you ain't talking about nothing, y'all just there breathing, Mm -mm, that ain't quality time. I'm just trying to tell you now. So Virgo, make some quality time for that person. That's what you're lacking at right now. Trust me, if you're not making quality time, listen, the cleanup woman and Jody, they're just waiting for you to just make a mistake. I'm just saying. All right, I'm going to a song. I'll be right back after the song to bring you more of the horoscopes brought to you by Noted Astrology and Micah Thyssen. Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back. It's your girl, Audrey Bell Kearney, bringing you Delhi Horoscopes, brought to you by noted astrologer, Micah Thyssen. Let's pick it up with Libra. A second chance will result in good work. You can come up with future trends in creative fields. Secret information will be eye-opening. Okay, so you're going to get some secret information. Information. It's going to be eye-opening. Here's the thing. It says secret. That means you keep that to yourself. You don't share that. However, however, depending on the secret, because ugh, depending on what that secret is, if it's affecting you, I can't even tell you not to not to act on it. Because if it's something that's truly affecting you, you're going to want to probably act on it. So that's, that's a little tough one right there. 
Scorpio, lack, lack of cash may be partly to blame for the problems at home. Situations in your personal life are moving a little fast lately. Travel will be enjoyable, uh, but could be expensive. Okay. Yeah, I got a couple of trips to go on. This, this, let me see. So I'm going to Florida next week. Then I come back. And then after that, I'm supposed to go somewhere for my anniversary in June. Then I come back. And then after that, I'm supposed to go somewhere for my, my best friend's, one of my best friend's birthday. Then I come back. So oh, it's a lot of traveling. And it's expensive. I already know it's expensive. Like one place we're going to room for the week is like, not even a week. I think it's four days, like 1202. I was like, what the freak is, I've never stayed in a room that's 1202. And I've stayed in some beautiful places. Like the Marriott is one of my favorite hotels to stay in. I just love them. And I've never paid 1202. Even when I went to the Orlando resorts, when I spoke at Podfest, um, year before last, it was only 800 and some dollars. And I stayed there for five days. This place was staying for like three days, four nights. I mean, four days, three days, four days, three nights, and it's 12.02. I'm like, what the freak? It needs to be gorgeous, but I don't think it is. I don't think it's gorgeous. So I'm like, nah, I'm feeling some kind of way about that one because I like, when I travel, I like to stay in really nice hotels. I don't like to just stay in no any kind. Let me tell y'all a quick story. <laughs> so I'm going to tell y'all two stories about hotel. Listen, I'm going to get on with the horoscope. Scorpio, just one second, okay? One second. Okay, your life is, your personal life is moving fast, a little fast lately. So you just, I don't know, you might want to slow it down for a second. But here, I got to tell y'all two stories. So one story was, um, a few years ago, my, my nephew was playing football at, at Vanderbilt, Vanderbilt University, right? And so I always go online and I look up like hotels and things like that. So I like boutique hotels. I love Marriott's. Marriott, y'all should pay me because I just said that twice. Anyway, I love Marriott's and I love boutique hotels, right? I was in LA one time and I stayed at the, um, God, what was it called? The Astoria, I think it was. It was gorgeous. It was, it was like a boutique hotel in LA. That was beautiful. So I love these nice, I like to say nice places. So I looked online and my brother was like, you know, he was staying at some of the loft or something. So I saw this, this, this hotel. It looked really cute. It looked very like, like, like cottage like. I'm thinking, oh, that's pretty. It was yellow and white. So yellow is one of my favorite colors. And so it was me, my husband, um, my mom, my aunt and uncle. I'm trying to think that my daughter come. I can't remember if she came or not, but I know it was definitely me, my mom, my husband, my aunt and uncle. We all stayed at this hotel. So when we pulled up to the hotel. It was a motel. It was like an extended stay motel and people were living there and I was so disappointed. And my husband hate, he hate the hotels where people can walk by your door on the outside and you can hear them walking out. He hate those hotels. So we don't, we, we definitely try not to ever stay in those unless we absolutely have to. My brother went to, we went in Albany one year and I forgot what it was for. But anyway, it was a year that they had like the tornado. And my brother, he didn't ask me to help him with the room because we stayed at, the, I think, the Country Inn or something. And for some reason, he decided to stay out by my aunt house at something called the Nice Inn or something, something. We stayed at the Courtyard by Marriott because, you know, I like Marriott. So we, it was a Marriott Country Inn or something. So I'm like, yeah, that's good. It was close by the mall. It was close by my aunt. He stayed on the other end of my aunt at something called the, the nice end or something. Anyway, he had me cracking up because he said when he got there, it was one of those motels where people walk by the walk by your room from the outside, right? He said all night long, he kept hearing people walking, so he kept waking up all night. Oh God, yeah, he had to hear him. He said the door was shaking. Y'all had to hear that story. I was cracking up. But anyway, I said all that to say. Travel can be expensive, Scorpio. I just had to share that story. And I'm laughing because both of those stories were funny. My husband hate those kind of, um, ho they're not even a hotel. I think they're motels. And then my brother was talking about the door shaking, people were walking by. But anyway, Sagittarius, don't count your chickens before they hatch. You need to refrain from being the generous one in the group. Refrain from arguing with your mate. All right, you got a lot of refraining to do this week, this, today. I know, refrain from spending all the money. Here's the thing. Don't be spending money trying to impress people. You want to be the generous one in the group. Not today, Sagittarius. It's not for you to do. And refrain from arguing today. Just try not to. Sometimes it's okay to be, you know, sometimes you can be happy or you can be right. Sometimes it's just pick happy, right? Because just because you want to be right don't mean it's going to make you happy. I'm just saying. So refrain from arguing today, Sagittarius. 
Capricorn, you need to mingle with people who can spark enthusiasm and confidence in you. Your ideas are right on the mark and your work commendable. This is a good day to check out your investments. All right, listen, find you some, sm- listen, listen, Cap, find you some people that spark enthusiasm. You want to be around the people that make you just bubble, right? You want to be around the people that, you know, make you feel, now here's the thing. Confidence is a lot of work that you have to do on yourself. A lot of work we have to do on yourself, right? Um, but there are sometimes people can, people can lean on you. Uh, you can lean on people to help you boost your confidence. People can lean on you sometimes. You can lean on some people to help you boost your confidence, but you have to work on yourself to get that confidence, right? In the meantime, be around people that's like going something, doing something that's that's exciting, and 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 that way you're gonna be you're gonna feel that enthusiasm in yourself. Your ideas are right on the mark and your work is commendable and people are watching. They are definitely watching. Okay. All right. Aquarius, try not to take everything so seriously. Organize your day if you wish to accomplish all you set out to do. You can make career moves that will bring you much higher income. Okay. Try not to take things so seriously. Listen, you need to lighten up a little bit, Aquarius. Not today. Don't be so serious. Don't be so serious. All right. Last but not least, my fellow fish Pisces, use your energy wisely. You may want to invest in something that will grow in value. Listen, I don't know about y'all fish. I always want to invest in stuff that's going to grow in value. Try not to be as mellow. Try to be as mellow as possible. I feel mellow today. I don't know if it's because it's hump day Wednesday. I don't know what it is, but I feel super mellow today. And listen, using my energy wisely, yes. Yes, use your energy wisely, fish. I don't know about you, but I will not expend any energy on crap. It's all going to go towards the good and all the things that I got to do. All right? All right. All right, that's all the horoscopes I got for you today. I'll be back again on tomorrow at 10 a.m. to bring you more of the horoscopes brought to you by Noted Astrology, Micah Thyssen. Now let's get on to some news that you can use. All right, so they're saying that um, the uh, FDA has approved the COVID vaccine booster for children between the ages of five and 11. Of course it's, it's hot again. And so as soon as it get hot, the COVID just start to spread all over again. This is one little, this bug right here just won't go away. It is amazing how this bug just won't go away. Um, I, I just, oh my God. Anyway, it's the first step in the process that could make the shots available to Georgia kids, um, later this week. So they got it first, they got to get it approved. Um, the emergency authorization for Fi- Pfizer vaccine that, that got it approved on Tuesday. And now the doses are going to be ready for be- children between the five and 11. I know some people are so freaking out saying they don't want their kids to get it. I don't, I, I have no, I have no thoughts at this point. I'm just, uh, this has been going on for so long. I just have no thoughts at this point. All I know is that right now they got a sub variant out known as um, BA 2.12.1. It's worrisome because it's more transmittable, transmiss- transmissible than other highly contagious Omicron variants, sub variants. And because it's able to invade antibodies built up from the vaccine of previous infections. So this was, this is bad. So you can get it. It's in, it's even if you had it like before when 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 COVID first came out, if you had COVID, it was likely that you probably wouldn't get it. Now they saying this sub variant can push past the antibodies that your body has already built up. So even if you've had, I just can't like I I stop looking at it. I just stop because right now it's just like it's never gonna go away. I don't care what we do, it just keep mutating and mutating and mutating. And um, now they got this sub variant BA two point one two point one. Um, that's another variant of it. It's, it's known. The new variant uh, states that the new variant forty one forty seven point one percent of the cases of the earlier B two BA two variant and yeah they got cases. I just can't. I can't. It's just listen. You, you got to make your own decision about yourself and your children. I mean I don't know what to tell anybody at this point. It's just crazy. In the meantime, um, on-campus vaccine clinic is today. It started at 10 o'clock this morning, Georgia Gwinnett College. So if you want to get vaccinated today, um, you can go out and get vaccinated. It started this morning at 10. It runs to 4 o'clock. Um, additional dates where you can get vaccinated on the, at the campus is Tuesday, May the 24th from 10 to 4. Wednesday, May the 25th from 10 to 4. Tuesday, May 31st from 10 to 4. Again, it's, you can go today 
and uh, up until four o'clock this e this evening, and that's Georgia Gwinnett College, located at one thousand University Center Lane in Lawrenceville, Georgia. So you can go get vaccinated if you have not. If you choose to, they're giving out vaccines today. Um, they have partnered with the Community Organized Relief Effort Corps to provide COVID nineteen vaccine clinics on campus. Corps will provide first, second, and and booster doses of Pfizer. Um, of the Pfizer vaccine as well as Johnson & Johnson single dose vaccines on the third floor in the student lounge of the student center. So if you have not been vaccinated or got a booster, you can. That's for Pfizer and Johnson & Johnson today from 10 to 4, next Tuesday from 10 to 4, next Wednesday from 10 to 4, and next, the following Tuesday from 10 to 4. Again, that's Georgia Gwinnett College located at 1000 University Center Lane, and that's in Lawrenceville. So if you want to get vaccinated, this is your opportunity to do so. Okay? Okay. I'm going to go to a song. I'll be right back after the song to bring you more of what's going on in and around Gwinnett County. Stay tuned. <laughs> So tech companies demonstrate pedestrian vehicle safety in Peachtree Corners. Y'all know I love the autonomous vehicle. Like that's one. Now here's the thing. I like the idea of the technology. I'm not sure that I'm ready to drive, get in one and ride just yet. Anyway, the future of uh, the future of vehicles can be seen in Peachtree Corners. So Peachtree Corners Curiosity Lab recently welcomed guests and companies from the 5G Automotive Association Conference um, to watch live demonstrations of the new internet connected vehicle technologies. I, I'm excited. I'm excited about that technology. I'm not sure I'm quite ready to get in the car just yet. 
um, <laughs> because the car drives itself. So I'm not, I'm quite not quite there. I am excited though. Anyway, several companies, including T-Mobile, Beep, um, Comsigna, and Bosch, demonstrated how new technology can improve roadways and, and pedestrian safety. Beep, a self-driving vehicle company, provided riders with first and last uh, mile mobility services works with other technology companies to not only provide rides, but to also find solutions for driver safety and protecting the environment. So the environment is something that I'm passionate about as well, because um, the less carbon we can put out into the universe, the better it's going to be. So um, it's green, it's it's electric, it's good for the environment, so all of that. But anyway, they, they demonstrated those cars. I, I always miss this. I need to go and put myself on their media list so I can make sure that when they have these events that I can show up and talk to people because I, I miss them. I don't know about them till after they have happened. But anyway, that driverless technology is amazing. It's going to, now, here's the thing. Um, that is probably going to take away some jobs on the driver side. However, on the tech side, somebody needs to be able to, to, to control the cars. Somebody needs to be able to make sure that the technology is working right. So that means there are going to be new careers opening up in that space. So if you're thinking about getting into tech, think about autonomous driving technology, smart technology, AI, that type of technology. A lot of career opportunities are going to be available there. So check that. Check check into that. And I'm sure that's going to be good money for some of you. All right. Gwinnett Commission votes to reorganize the juvenile courts. Yep, they sure have. The Gwinnett County Board of Commissioners on Tuesday voted unanimously to reorganize the court's juvenile court and establish a new department, Child Advocacy and Juvenile Services. Removing attorneys for ju- uh, from for children, court-appointed special advocates, and probation officers from the supervision of the judges to whom they make recommendations. So the attorney for children, known as Guardians Ad Liam, um, probation officers, and CASA uh, volunteers are tasked with independently investigating children, um, investigating children's cases, and making recommendations to judges. But the but the judges control those employees' pay and employment status, creating a conflict of interest for employment employees who fear that the judge might not like their recommendations. So they're going to reorganize that thing so these people can do their jobs better and not feel in fear. So kudos to you guys for that. I'm sure that the judges, the, uh, the, the uh, probation officers are going to be excited about that. Can you imagine being afraid to say what you want to say because somebody may not like what you say and, and mess with your money? Yeah, don't mess with folks' money. They get upset. Don't do it. Don't do it. I know some folks want to get upset. Okay, so the Community Foundation is getting a new CEO. Yes, they are. Community Foundation for Northeast Georgia announced it has selected DePriest Wadi as the organization's next president and CEO. DePriest, currently chief executive officer of Atlanta Nonprofits Families First, will assume his new role come June 1st, which is very, this is right around the corner very soon. He said, I'm thrilled that God has blessed me to lead this phenomenal organization. Randy Wetner has done a masterful job as CEO, and I applaud him and the Community Foundation Board for setting the stage to achieve continued growth and help meet the increasing needs resulting from complex family problems. So Community Foundation is a an amazing organization um, that helps family members um, with a whole bunch of different services, y'all. This is it's so many different things that they help human services. They help nonprofits. Um, they have, they have just a lot of things that they do to help give back to our community. So I think that's important too. Um, if you are a nonprofit, you can apply for grants over there. You can open up a fund. If you are a donor and you want to support the organization, if you want to give them, you know, what you want to set up an endowment, um, something like that, you can do that as well. You want to be a donor. You want to do planned giving, um, they set up funds for donor advised funds. It's just a lot that you can do, and they and they support nonprofits who are doing some amazing work here in Georgia. Speaking of supporting nonprofits, I got to tell you about a program that I, I recently launched called the Community um, Podcast Partner Program. And what what prompted me to launch that program was I had a nonprofit reach out to me about starting a podcast. And, you know, nonprofits don't have a lot of money most of the time. Well, let me say this. Some of them have a lot of money, but they have a big, they have a lot of things to do with that money. Some of them are smaller and they don't have a huge, huge budget. But I wanted to figure out how to give back. And it's, it had kind of been kind of been bothering me for a little while, like, you know, saying, well, how can I help them? I know they need my help. And this particular nonprofit is focused on men health, um, 
specifically prostate health. And I thought, man, I need to figure out how to do this. And sure enough, um, I woke up this morning with an idea, um, to start this. Now I had been thinking about community outreach as another form of way of helping the community. But for some reason today, it hit me that this is how I'm going to help nonprofits. Now I can't help all nonprofits. I got a space, I got space right now for 10. And so, um, because it's a lot of work, it's a lot of work that goes involved. It's, it's going to, it's going to tax my team a little bit, but I feel like we can handle it. So the program allows nonprofits to, to co-host a two, two podcast episodes a month with me with their own podcast. And so a lot of times nonprofits are really busy. They don't have the time. They don't have the know-how. They don't have the manpower to do all the things that I do on a daily basis. So when I do good morning with y'all know it's a lot that goes into this, even though it's pretty simple, you still have so many little things that have to be ticked off. Like behind the scenes, I do a lot. So when I'm here talking to you, it doesn't sound like I do a lot, but once I get finished, there's articles, there's posts, it's a whole lot of other stuff that has to go on. They have to go on. Um, I have to make sure the apps are up and running properly. And there, there's no glitches. I got a, I got an email saying, hey, something is wrong with one of your apps in the app store. And I had to go back and find out what was wrong with this. Send it to my tech team so they can fix it. So behind the scene, there's a lot of things that go on. But anyway, um, this program is going to allow nonprofits only have space for 10 because I'm going to co-host with them. So all they need to do is just show up. So and show up and share their information, share their information um, and I, I'm, I can only do like I do two podcasts already, and I'm gonna be launching my own third podcast that I do. I do two of my podcasts are on hiatus, but this third one is gonna be. The third one's gonna be pretty darn nice. I can't talk about it just yet because I have to get some stuff into place. But um, this program is gonna allow um, nonprofits to co-host with me, and then we're gonna take that show and we're gonna syndicate that show across all the podcast platforms. Um, the noise podcast network, as well as creating apps, mobile apps and Alexa apps for the podcast. So now they're getting the, the, the most reach they can get and they can be able to accept donations through the apps and all that kind of stuff. So I, you know, I feel real good about that program coming up. So I'm looking forward to doing that. And, um, that's called the community podcast program partner program and it's it's for nonprofits. Now at some point we may expand past 10 but right now 10 is my limit. Um only because I'm doing a co-hosting with them as as we bring on more hosts to co-host with them um then we may expand but right now it's it's only uh, so I got 10 spots and I think one of them is already filled up so I really have nine. So if you're interested in that go to noisepodcastnetwork.com noisepodcastnetwork.com click on community partner and you'll see more information about it but you know these are the type of things that I look forward to doing so I'm kind of I'm not like the community foundation because I don't I can't help you set up a fund but I can help you get your information out there so anyway congratulations to the priest Wadi for taking the taking the role of CEO and president over at community foundation for northeast Georgia that's pretty doggone cool. Pretty cool. Listen, when you do good work, good things follow. Good things follow. I want to give a shout out to the graduation class of 2020-2022. Leadership Gwinnett, congratulations. They have gone through the academy. Now they are graduates. So congratulations goes out to them. Leadership Gwinnett is another great program for you to learn about Gwinnett County. Um, it allows you to become a leader in our county. And just, listen, we need great leaders. We need great leaders. We need bright future leaders. Um, we need people that love our community like I do. Yeah, that's why people probably get tired of me talking about it. So congratulations to the Leadership uh, Gwinnett Class of 2022. They spent the past nine months learning and engaging with community leaders and forging relationships that would ultimately lead to Gwinnett um, as a, a brighter future. So that is pretty darn cool. I've never taken that, but maybe I'll take it next year. I've taken the Gwinnett Citizens Academy 101, which is not nine months. I want to say that's more like, I think that's more like nine weeks. This is a nine month program. So I might take leadership Gwinnett next year, um, when it comes around, but I gotta, I gotta make sure that I know that it's coming around. All right. So this, uh, this coming Wednesday, 4 p.m. to 7 p.m., North Cross Community Market is, is taking place. So if you want to go out to North Cross Community Market, it's going to be at Thrasher Park. And it's going to be from 4 to 7. But And it's going to start this, this Wednesday, today. But it's going to run all the way through June 15th. So um, North Cross Community Market, Thrasher Park. So if you want to check that out, you can do that as well. 
You can go out there and buy uh, probably fresh vegetables and all that good stuff. And, you know, good fresh fruit. Some Georgia peaches. Pecans. I don't know what they have there. I'm just talking. I've never gone to one, but if you want to go, it's going to be a Thrasher Park. So check it out. All right. So listen, I ain't got no more news for y'all today. So I'm going to go to my last song. I'm going to the last song. Then I'm going to come back and give you my word of inspiration for the day. So stay tuned. <laughs> Honestly, I shouldn't Caught up in my feelings Messed up and I'm sprung Something in your smile that It makes me wanna come over Can I come over? I wanna come over Thinking about your ocean Swimming pool is closed and I'm in the deep end The waves are washing over I know I'm not sober Can I come closer? I wanna come over When you leave me like that Girl, don't do me like that Ooh, when I think about that I'll be coming right back home Some closure. You said you wanna move forward. I know we're not done. I'm thinking about our moments. I know I'm not sober. Can I come closer? I wanna come over. When you leave me like that, girl, don't do me like that. Ooh, when I think about that, I'll be coming right back. Welcome back, welcome back. So listen, guys, before I... It's all I got for you, but before I go, I want to give you my word of inspiration for the day. And here it goes. It says, I intend to live life, not just exist. Ooh, let me say that again. I intend to live life, not just exist. George Take said that, and I agree. Listen, it's been so many days that I've said to myself, man, I just need to live life, right? And nothing was stopping me from living life except me. I put a lot of effort into my business, which I've done for the last 25 years, but I realized at some point that I wasn't living life. I was just pretty much existing. And here here in the last probably six to eight months, I have said, you know what? I need to start living my life because life can be extremely short. For some people, it's long, but for some, it's short. And so one of my regrets is I would hate to kick the bucket and not have lived a, a life that was full of love and joy and peace and happiness and fun. So, you know, I had to I had to take a hard a long hard look at my business. I had to take a long hard look at my relationships, and I had to take a long hard look at myself and say, "Okay, what is it that you really want?" You know, what is it that you what is it that at the end of the day you want to say, "Okay, you know what? I did that. I've accomplished a lot in my business life. A lot. Some things that some people would never accomplish. I've invented things, I've created things, I've written books, a whole lot of things, right? Now I want to live life and so, you know, you know, I don't want to just exist. What about you? You know, do you want to live life? Or are you just existing? Ask yourself that question. That's an important question. 
and living life for everybody is different, right? For me, it's being able to read a book, right? And, and so I used to read all the time. But because I was so focused on what I was trying to accomplish, I, I didn't have the time to read. Because every waking minute, even my sleeping minutes, was focused on just the business, the business, business. And not, I'm not saying it's not focused now. I'm just saying that I have learned to separate a lot of that stuff and put it in its, and put it in its place, right? So that I can enjoy, like I can breathe for a second. You need to look at your life and say, am I living or, or am I existing? If you're too tired to stand up, you're probably just existing. If you don't have any fun doing anything, you're probably just existing. And to some people, that's enough for them. But if it's not enough for you, I challenge you to start living your life because it can be short. So all I got for you today, you could have been anywhere in the world, but you spent the last 45 minutes with me. And I love you and appreciate you for real for that. If you missed any episodes of this show, please go to goodmorninggwinnett.com to listen to past episodes there. And listen, if you are a nonprofit or you know a nonprofit that would like to be a co-host on a show with me, send them over to Noise Podcast Network, click on Community Partner Program, and um, sign up. I only have 10 spots. Uh, this is not, it's not unlimited. It's only 10 spots because you're going to co-host with me two episodes a month. So send them over to noisepodcastnetwork.com, noisepodcastnetwork.com, and let them sign up. Also, um, Podcast University is going to be starting again June 4th. So if you know you want to start your own podcast and you don't need me to co-host with you, which is fine, you know, go over to Noise Podcast Network and click on Podcast University or just go to podcastuniversity.training. All right? I'll be back again tomorrow at 10 a.m. God willing. You guys stay safe out there. And again, thank you so much for listening. Until next time, my friends. Until next time, make it a great day. Bye, y'all. You've been listening to Good Morning Gwinnett. Make sure to tune in Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time to find out what's happening around Gwinnett. If you like this episode, subscribe now and share with your friends. To learn more about Noise Media Network, visit noisemedia.us.